So if you're brand new to Dropbox or really just looking for a refresher course on how to use all of the features of Dropbox to get started today, well, you're in the right place. Let's jump in. All right, so Dropbox is a incredibly powerful file sharing tool, cloud-based storage to either backing up files or sending files to people. And I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know and how this works. So we're just gonna to go to our web browser, whatever your preference, I'm on Chrome. And you're just gonna type in dropbox.com. And I will leave a link in the description below for you to go to this as well. Now, once you're here, you can go to see Dropbox plans. And this sort of gives you all the different plans. This is a monthly fee for Dropbox, and you can either do that build monthly or build yearly. Uh, and the prices are always changing, depending on how much storage you need, how many people are using it, how many files are being transferred, all of that sort of thing. So it kind of breaks this all down. And there's also a free version that is a very limited amount of storage, depending on what you're really utilizing it for. If you're just sending like text documents or things like that, you may not need as much as if you're transferring video files or photos, that sort of thing. And once you decide on what you want to click, you can just select your option here, or you can go to sign up up here and create the account. Now I already have an account, so I'm just going to log into my account here. And once you log in, you'll sort of see an interface like this. Now I already have some files in here and I'm shared with some other accounts and that sort of thing. So you can see just sort of the layout here, but I'm gonna walk you through what all of this means. You can see along the side panel here, you have your home, which is where we're at now. And as you click on this, you'll see the different options and we have that pop up here. So your home sort of is just everything that you have detailed out. And this is much like any file explorer or file navigation on your computer, whether you're a Mac, a PC, you see all your files, you can go to just your photos, you can go to the different folders, you can go to files that are shared with you. And then you can see the folder structure just like this. And again, this might look familiar if you're used to any sort of file navigation within your computer. And when you click on those individual folders, you can see it opens up what the content of that folder here is. And you can play the video back, it'll give you a little preview window, and you can see those that way. And so you can navigate through this, which is sort of a list view, or you can navigate through here, which is more of a picture tile version, okay? So you can open up the folders this way and see what you have. Now, within this, you can upload or drop, since it's called Dropbox, you can create create new folders, transfer a copy, and some options up here. So if you have a new folder, a new file that you wanna to add to this, you can open up your file navigator and you can just literally just click and drag it over there. You can see it kind of created a dotted line around there and then it starts uploading. It'll give you a little taskbar, it says that it's sort of finished and you're done. So now again, you can click on this and go open the full screen Okay, you can close out of that. But the real power of Dropbox is in this option. So when you go over here, you can click on share. And this share option allows you to add people if you're part of a shared account, or you can just copy the link and then email that to somebody or text it to somebody if they need access to that file. And that, as long as they have access to the file, they can view it or they can download it on their own computer. So you're not transferring the whole file, you're just transferring that link for them to access it in Dropbox. And that's where the real power of this comes in, okay? And then over here, you click on the three dotted lines and you have several more options. You can get more information about it. You have all the share things here. You can download the file to your own computer, which this is nice. So I uploaded this onto my desktop. I could go to another desktop or my laptop and access this folder within Dropbox and download it onto that computer. I can add comments. I can do a lot of different functions on here. In this case, I'm just gonna delete it because I don't need that anymore, okay? The other option is you can click and highlight several of these at a time, and you could download several of them, delete several of them, and so you don't have to do it one by one, but you could do it individually. So like I could select that and just say, I wanna delete it. Are you sure you wanna delete? Yes, okay? Now, we're gonna navigate back out of this, and now you can see these individual folders. I can also select that folder and share the whole folder. So again, then somebody would be able to access that and see that whole folder and everything that's within that. 
And I think one of the things that's key, the more that you use Dropbox, is it has a tendency to get disorganized and a little overwhelming. So you have a search bar here. So you, if you know the name of the file that you're looking for, you can just type in the keywords of that file that you're looking for, and it'll, it'll find that. That's an option. But what I think is even more powerful is folders. There's no limit to the amount of folders that you can have, and you can have folders within folders. And the way that I think about it is like a, a file cabinet. You don't just take all your papers and just throw them into the drawers. You have folders that are for each category. Maybe you have all the information about your car, and then you have a folder that has all of your medical records, and you have a folder that's your tax info, whatever the case is. And so what you want to do is you can click up here to create folders, and you can go my stuff okay and you can create that and then it'll open up here you could add files directly to that or you can create another folder within my stuff right and you can create this and then you can create another folder into that and so you just sort of really start organizing things by folders and then when you select a file that you want you can click and drag it to the whole folder or you can hover over top of that individual folder and drop it directly into that folder. And this really helps keep things organized, even to the extent that now you could just search for that folder. So I go, I want to look for important, and it goes, finds that folder, and now you have everything that's in that folder, you see? So now I don't even need to know the, the name of that individual file, which is now just a, a bunch of letters and numbers but I can just search that folder because I know that's in my important documents folder. So another thing you can do here, you can see I misspelled my stuff. So I, I can edit that by clicking on these three little dots and going rename and changing that that way. And it changes that across the board, okay? So I think remaining organized from the beginning as you're setting that up and you, maybe you want more folders than you necessarily need is the key to really keeping things organized. Now, this is the web interface. The other option that you can do, which I use both of these, is to set up a desktop app so you can use this just like you would your regular folders. So we're gonna hover over here to go set up device. And you can click here and you got two options. You can either set it up on your desktop, which is what I'm doing here, or you can even get an app for your phone, which is also very helpful that as you take photos on your phone, you can upload it to there. So we're just gonna click on install. Just takes a few seconds. You can click on that to open this up, allow it to start installing on your device. All right, and once it finishes the download installation process, it'll bring you to this screen here. And once again, you just need to sign in which in our case, we were already signed in on the web, so it automatically links it that way. So then you just wanna click on Open Dropbox, click on it there, okay, and it's opening up the Dropbox here. And so you can see here, it shows you everything that is in the account, which is 153 gigabytes, is too large to fit on the computer. I only have 15 gigabytes remaining. So you can choose the folders. You can either sync everything, uh, which is not what I wanna do, or you can choose the folders. And what it's doing here is it is basically creating a mirror image of what's on the web, what's on the cloud-based server, onto what's on your computer so you can access these very quickly, okay? So I'm just going to deselect all of these, and I'm just going to focus on my stuff, which is the smaller folder. So you can sync whatever you want. If you're just getting started, you're not going to have this much data on your folder, so it'll be much easier. And you can click on update, confirm, and it is now syncing those files onto a folder onto my computer. And we can change all of that where that's at here in just a minute. And what this does is your computer really sees that Dropbox folder or your Dropbox account as a whole nother hard drive, basically. And again, this is on the PC, so this might be a little bit different for the Mac, but it's going to open up this file explorer, which shows you my account, Dropbox, and it has my stuff. And so when I click on that, you can see important documents, which we just created, and there's the file, which is not yet synced, right? And so it looks very much the same, just like what we had on the web interface, but now it is just another folder or another drive on my computer. You see when I navigate over here, you could see all the files and there it is, okay? 
So now I can add files to it just the same, drag and drop files in there. I can save to it. I can do all the things like I would with another hard drive. Now we're going to go down into my tray here and we're going to open up Dropbox. And so this is sort of just another interface to be able to see the files that you have on the computer there. So up here you have the folder. You can click on this to go back to the web version if you want to go to that. And some notifications if somebody added a comment or something's done uploading, whatever that you need there. And then if you hover over your account, you can click on that. And you can upgrade. You can go to a different uh, plan. You can see if there was any syncing issues. And what we're going to look at is your preferences. Okay, we're going to open this up. And there's some general things. There are you know, notifications and things like that. Your account will show you how much storage you have. You can link other accounts. And this is what's really cool here is that you can create backups. So you can manage backups where you could link your computer to Dropbox. So you could have certain folders that maybe you use regularly and it'll back those up onto your Dropbox account. Obviously you need the storage to be able to handle that and have those folders match up, but that's a great option there. You can also back up to other drives and then you can also have automatic uploads. So you could have every time that you drop a file into a folder, it'll automatically upload it to your Dropbox folder. And so this is another way of using Dropbox, not just to share files, but also backing up and protecting and securing what the files are on your computer. And so here's where I really want to take a look at is this sync option, which is basically what it's taking from Dropbox and syncing to your computer. And so you can go down here and change this location. So like in my case, I have it on the C drive. I don't want that. I want to go to the backups and we'll select that and it'll create a Dropbox folder on there. And we're just going to move all that. So that now is you designate where you want it to go on your computer. And you designate if you only want to access those files if you're currently online, or you can have it be available if you're offline as well. So if you have a laptop that's not always connected to the internet, you might want to select the available offline option there. And then here you can, again, designate, this is what we did at the beginning, designate which folders on Dropbox that you're syncing with your computer. So there's two things. There's the syncing, which is what's pulling from Dropbox to your computer, and there's backing up, which is taking what's on your computer to Dropbox. So just kind of sometimes those get a little confusing. And with that, you're up and running with Dropbox to be able to start sharing folders, keeping things organized, and uploading and downloading files to your computer. So I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.